Good morning. It's finally the day. We are starting our spooky narrative. Before we do this, I want to go through a couple things that I want you to do before you start writing. You also definitely want to pay attention to the end of this video because I'm going to show you how to en um, enter the document where you will type, okay? Every single person that types today on their document will get um, a bonus point or two probably, guys, okay? So you definitely want to pay attention to this because I know only like some of you are watching this. So if you're watching this, good job. But we are going to um, just go through a couple things. This is the first time in Mrs. Nugent's class that you will be going through the writing process from start to finish, okay? I know that you've been through it before, but we're going to start with pre-writing, or I kind of like to call that one brainstorm. Then we're going to move to drafting. Revising and editing, um, we will do at the same time, and then we will publish, okay? We're going to do this in the in about the next week and a half, so we're going to do it slowly, okay, guys? So you do not have to write your entire story today, okay? So the first thing we need to do is brainstorm or pre-write, okay? Um, I truly believe that you guys have to find your favorite way to brainstorm or pre-write. What works for Mrs. Nugent doesn't always work for you guys, okay? So I'm gonna show you a couple different ways. I want you to pause the video where I ask you to and just try these out so you can figure out your favorite type of brainstorming, okay? So I'm just gonna slowly show you how to do these. The first one is a web, all right? Um, this is where you kind of make one of these circles and then they have the, um, the lines of the other circles going off. So I put your prompt in the middle circle. So write a story about the best day of your life. Here is where you would brainstorm. You would start scribbling at your writing ideas. Okay, I kind of do it fast, so I would call it scribbling. So I might write, uh, the day I married Mr. Nugent, the day I got Bo, um, my third birthday, I remember it being awesome. Why was it awesome? I got cake, I got presents, okay? So just start snowballing ideas. So what I want you to do now is just pause this video and go ahead and get a piece of paper and make a web and practice. Just see if that one, if you like that um, method, okay? So go ahead and pause, and then I will show you the next one. So you might want to get a couple pieces of paper. All right, now that you have tried web, all right, um, we're going to use an order and sequence graphic organizer or maybe like a timeline kind of deal. So this would actually be planning the events of your story. So if we're writing a story about the first day of school, okay, and then you have to put your events in order. So I woke up late. I didn't have time to shower or eat breakfast. I had to run to catch the bus, okay. I finally got there, and my first period teacher, Mrs. Nugent, was standing on the sidewalk waiting for me. Okay, the next thing that happened is we went to class. You can just continue adding boxes, okay? So again, go ahead and pause this video and try that one out with this prompt. Write a story about the first day of school, but it's more like an order and sequence timeline. This would be like putting things in order, the events of a story. Next, we have plot diagram. We have learned about plot diagram, guys. You guys know this one. But what you can do is use a plot diagram to brainstorm your story. I love this one. This is probably my second favorite type of brainstorm. But so then in your exposition, you can write what would happen. You meet the characters, okay? Who are my characters? Oh, it's going to be blank, blank, and blank. Okay, my setting. What's my setting going to be? That's where you outline all of this. You don't have to write in complete sentences. It can be very quick, okay? What will happen in your rising action? You can have events coming off of this um, line here. What's going to be your climax, your falling action, and your resolution, okay? Just outline your story there. So again, here's a prompt. Write a story about a group of kids going on an adventure, any kind of adventure. You could continue that uh, buried treasure story from yesterday. Go ahead and pause here and just practice doing that. If you want to uh, set a one-minute timer, that's always a good um, strategy, okay? The last strategy I'm going to give you guys is to draw a picture or to just write. Um, this is my favorite. I like to just literally fill, um, start writing down random ideas um, that go with the prompt on a piece of white paper. Okay, I might even like make a kind of a list. Some of you are more um, artistic, so you're going to want to draw a picture that will really inspire your story. So here we have write a story about a mistake that you have made. So I might write about the time that I fell at a pep rally in front of the whole school. And I'm going to just literally write out a bunch of events on my paper. Okay, go ahead and pause this video and practice that one. All right, now that you've tried this, hopefully you did pause the video and try this. I want you to pick your favorite um, brainstorming method, and I want you to take the next three minutes, okay, 
Um, so you're going to pause this video and I want you to brainstorm based on our prompt that we will be using for this narrative. Okay. Write a spooky narrative. Your story should be spooky, suspenseful, or downright horrifying. It is up to you. Think about how you can incorporate spooky elements into the characters, setting, plot, tone, mood, etc. Okay. So go ahead and pause and you're going to just brainstorm. So grab a piece of paper, think about what you want your story to be about. Remember, it doesn't have to be like downright horrifying. It can be like kind of cute and spooky. I'm not a very scary, I don't like scary. I don't like scary movies. I don't like to be scared. So mine would probably be a little like funny and spooky, not like super duper spooky. Some people are like ready to write like the next big horror movie, okay? Just make sure it's school appropriate always, all right? So go ahead and pause this video and you are going to brainstorm there. The next step, guys, is starting our draft, okay? It is starting our draft. So here's your prompt. You're going to write a spooky narrative. Your story should be spooky, suspenseful, or downright horrifying. It is up to you. You're going to begin drafting your story, and I want you to keep in mind a couple of things. It should be four to five paragraphs. You should begin with a hook. And you want to make your story as interesting as possible. Make sure there's a conflict. Make sure it follows plot, okay? So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to pause this really quick, and I'm going to show you how to get to your document, okay? All right. So what you are going to do here, guys, is you're going to go to google.com, okay? Okay. On Google, you should hopefully be signed into your school email. If not, you'll see a little circle here with, um, or it will be a blue sign-in button. What you'll do is you'll click that, and you will click sign in. You're going to use your school account, which is your first name dot your last name dot 2028 at student.lhschools.org. I will put that uh, in some directions that I will post on Buzz if you need it. Hopefully you know your password. It's what you use to sign into your Chromebook, okay? So once I'm there, you're going to go to this little, the apps button, and you're going to find Gmail, okay? So you're going to open up your Gmail. You're going to open up your Gmail and you're going to see an email from me, okay? It will say your name right here in Spooky Narrative, all right? You will open that email and then you will click Open in Docs. Hold on one second. So what it will take you to, sorry. Let's see if it'll take me there now. Good, well. So what you will see now, give it just one second to load. So what you will see now is this document, okay? So I wrote name, class period, date, title, start typing your hook here. So where you see this name, I want you to, you can literally backspace four times and write your name. Okay. Class period. Again, backspace. You can highlight to backspace and just start typing. He, um, Alex is in second period, so I would just write that. And then the date. You can put today's date. So you can put November 6th, 2020. Okay? Where your title is. You don't have to give it a title yet. If you want to wait till the end, that's fine. But what I want you to do is start typing your story right here. So again, you'll highlight there. You'll start writing your hook. Okay? As a dark. And ooh, I like stormy, stormy night. Ooh, night. There were three girls walking down the street, readying or getting ready to start on their annual trip or treat trip okay so you will literally just start typing right there okay guys that's what you're gonna do all right so i will show you another way really quick to get to um this document you will just go to google and if you are signed in with your school email already you can go to docs or you can go to drive and go to shared with me okay and it is there all right um, it won't come up on mine just because I'm the one that made the doc, but you can use Docs or Google Drive. If you have any problem getting into this um, document, please just send me an email, okay? Again, anybody that writes on theirs will get a bonus point, okay? 
Do not finish your writing today. We will continue it Monday and Tuesday, okay? Please make sure you are watching the lessons on Monday and Tuesday. You'll get some more good information. If you have any questions, please let me know.